Kia ora. It appears Kim.com has found a legal way to run his latest website. The internet mogul unveiled Mega last night, and so far more than half a million people have signed up. Internet law expert Rick Shearer says if the site is watched closely, there shouldn't be any issues with .com's bail conditions. Bethlehem College mission trips to Kenya are likely to continue in spite of the tragedy that claimed three lives from the Christian community. Principal Ian Crosby says they are certain their ministry is of great value. We we'll just have to review what risks we can mitigate, but there's a great determination there that this work is just more valuable than ever. The first of the surviving Bethlehem College students have returned from Kenya today, as well as the three victims of the road crash, Dr Brian and Grace Johnson and Caitlin Dixon. The annual Demographia survey on housing affordability has confirmed what Auckland house hunters already know. Auckland is the worst of eight local markets, with the median house price now 6.7 times the median salary. The Finance Minister acknowledges action is needed on housing affordability. Bill English says the average time for a family to find a home when moving to Auckland is eight years, which is too long. We want to work with councils to change their rules so that more houses can be built more quickly. There will be a cabinet reshuffle this week and Nick Smith looks set to be brought back into the fold. He stood down from the cabinet during the Bronwyn Puller ACC scandal, but Prime Minister John Key believes he's done his time, saying Dr Smith is a successful minister and last year's hiccup hasn't ruled out a future portfolio. Internet experts are calling for more funding in New Zealand's battle against cyber grooming, ahead of any law changes. Australia is considering making it illegal for people to lie about their age online, but NetSafe's executive director, Martin Cooker, says resources should be our first priority. Increasing the cyber crime fighting law enforcement capability before worrying about increasing the number of regulations that we're trying to police online. One month after deadly cyclone Evan hammered Samoa, the Pacific nation is preparing for another tropical cyclone due to hit the capital Apia around midnight New Zealand time. The Samoa Meteorological Service has issued a warning for high winds, heavy rain, flooding and landslides. The four-day hostage siege in the Algerian desert is being assessed by all the governments involved. 55 people were killed at the desert gas complex near the Libyan border and British Prime Minister David Cameron says there's a wider context to the North African crisis. This is a global threat and it will require a global response. There's also criticism of the way Algeria handled the situation and a former British ambassador says it marks a change for the country's Muslim terrorists. Uh, and I think the fear must be that if this is the start of a new trend, then Algeria is going to have a huge problem. And finally, Barack Obama has been sworn in for a second term in a brief private ceremony at the White House using a Bible that belonged to Michelle Obama's grandmother. Mr Obama will use President Abraham Lincoln's Bible at tomorrow's public event, and nearly 800,000 people are expected to gather at the US Capitol to witness his inauguration. Kanuina karare matua mai ite fare korero o rima, moriora.